Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the Blitzy Design Team. And today I'm going to make a 9 by 12 layout for my Project Life book this year. So I'm starting off with a piece of Canton watercolor paper that I have cut down to 9 by 12. And these, I'm going to not be able to say this name, but it's Ganzai Tombi watercolors. And they are amazing watercolors. I'm using color 34, 35, and the white is 10. I'm also using a Lowell Cornell number 12 round paintbrush. So I just went ahead and applied that watercolor down. I muted all the colors with the white. And then I'm going to use some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold Lame and my Ranger um, heat gun to dry it in between because I don't want the... The reason why I dry it in between is because I don't want the colors to run when I add color on top of color, especially with the watercolors. Um, and then I went ahead and added some India ink splats. And they stay, those take a really long time to dry, so I kind of just set them aside and let them dry. And I don't know if you noticed, but I had my watercolor paper taped down to my work surface. That's a really good trick. I just used some post-it tape, and it kept it from warping. And I'm going to be doing that in the future with all of my watercoloring layouts because it really kept it nice and flat. So I'm using the Heidi, uh, no, not Heidi, Maggie Holmes um, Shine Collection. It's a new collection she's come out with, and it's really pretty. I'm also using a little bit of Amy T or uh, Dear Lizzie. That paper, uh, bobby pin is from Dear Lizzie, and the tassel is from an older Maggie Holmes line. I'm using the ephemera pack, a piece of the chipboard, and then these are some Prima. I looked at the packaging, but I couldn't find a name for them. They're kind of like vellum leaves in black and white, and they have all different patterns, like a grid pattern and a stripe pattern and a polka dot pattern. And then these thickers also are from the, I came out with the Maggie Holmes Shine collection. Now, that hot mess that you just saw is a bunch of DMC metallic gold thread that I created this like pattern with but I needed it to stay in place. So I just put a whole bunch of washi tape over it to keep it in place. And you can't see it because it's underneath the picture, but I know it looked a mess. Now, this is a picture, a selfie that I took of myself. And if you've been watching, my, if you watch my YouTube channel or you've seen some of my videos, I don't normally scrapbook pictures of myself because I don't really take pictures of myself. But I decided that it was time to update my picture. So I took a couple selfies and this is the kind of funny one that I took. And it's so weird even talking about it, but, um, you know, we do live in the age of selfies that you see them all the time on Instagram, Facebook. I even see them on the news, you know, Kim Kardashian's latest selfie. So I figured I might as well get with the times and take a selfie. Anyways, so I decided I was going to make a layout about it because I don't know. I find that as like scrapbookers or project lifers or whatever it is, however you document your life, you rarely see. To, you do pictures of yourself because I'm always the one taking pictures. So it's kind of fun sometimes to do that. So I just finished up the layout with a little couple strips of washi tape down at the bottom. And I used some gold sequins. Oh, and these are super fun. They're from the new Maggie Holmes line. And they have hearts and stars and circles. And they're like a gold glitter. But they're, they don't, the glitter doesn't come off at all. They're awesome. And these are the thickers. They're also gold glitter. There's a lot of gold in this collection, which is probably why I like it so much. But I just added a whole bunch of little embellishments all over the background. And I I really love the way it turned out. I think it is, it's very me. I think it's very my style and really represents kind of where I am in my creativity and just me in a nutshell or on a page. <laughs> And I, this to me is a very personal kind of layout. And I don't journal a lot on the front of my layouts. I normally do it on the back. So I actually ended up adding like a whole piece of graph paper that I had written on to the back of this layout. They just kind of talked about, you know, where things are in life at this point. I think it'd be fun to look back or potentially whenever we have children for our children to look back and kind of just read what was going on at the times. I talked about what shows I'm watching, what music I'm listening to, um, what kind of things I'm what, like I'm cooking lately, just all just kind of all the the highlights if you will. 
So like I said, I'm just adding a few embellishments here and there. And actually this layout didn't take me very long. Normally layouts take me a really long time. I'm very much of an overthinker. But this one I just kind of went with and I didn't really change a whole lot from my original I you know idea. And I I was just really happy with how it turned out. I love the watercolor background. I highly, highly recommend checking out those. I think they're by Cure Talkie. That's Cure Talkie. Gonzai Tombi. I will have links below and in the blog post and everything for all these products. But I would definitely recommend checking them out. They have a few different sizes. So if you're just starting out to watercoloring and you don't want to invest in like a larger set, then they have um, smaller sets that, like the one I have has gold metallics in it and stuff that are really pretty, but there are some that don't have that. It's just a great beginner set. So this is a Charmel roller date stamp and what I like about it is that it's the European way of doing the date, so it's the month or the day, the month, and the year. But what that does is it allows you to just ink up the month and the year, which is great because sometimes I don't remember the date. And I just use a Faber Castell artist pit pen to do that. So here are the final pictures. I hope you guys have enjoyed this layout and you will try out this watercolor technique and make sure to check out Blitzy for all of your crafting supplies. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.